show you guys how to set up a belay up at camp. Again, this is for review. This is not a training and only a review for people that have already been up to camp and have already done their training. So this is a level two training that uh, we've already done. So this is just review. So what we have here is we have our bags, the way you will receive them there. They will have a name on them for a certain event. So let's say it's confidence pole or ladder or whatever it is, it'll be written on there. You'll have a bucket with ropes that are designed for that location and everything else. So when we open up our kit, we're gonna see that our kit in every area except for the confidence pole will have two sets. So you'll have a bottom set that has all the carabiners you'll need for one rope and a belay device. And the second set is all the carabiners and a belay device. And then you will have a multi-link daisy chain up above it. For our training purposes here, we don't have a tree obviously inside. So we're going to be using just an anchor that we've already got put in. So from here, we use a longer daisy chain. So we're gonna start with that. And the first thing we'll grab out of our kit is our two carabiners here. These are ovals. Not all the groups will use the ovals. Some of them will use a steel carabiner with a triple locking, or a double locking triple action carabiner. So for us, we like these a little better because we can see the red on them. Red is dead. So we're gonna go ahead. We're going to put them through the anchor. Now again, this would be a triple wrap with pull two. So we're gonna go ahead and put them. We want them opposing gates. So we wanna make sure the red stays on the same side, not where the red is actually on opposite sides. Okay, I hope you guys can see that. We don't want them like that. We don't want them, we want them opposed and opposite. So we want the reds both facing down and that way the gates would literally have to open on both sides and you have to pull it out. So we take the small loop first, we're gonna put that through and then we come up here and we put the second loop through, making sure that the loop is not twisted inside the carabiners. Then we tighten them all the way down. Once we've got them all tightened down, so we can't see red anymore. Remember, red is dead. We can go ahead and put in our next piece. Madison, if you hand me the next part of our rig here. It's right here, sorry. Honey. So at this point, we're gonna use the carabiner that does not have the wire eye on it. Nope. All of our carabiners are two different colors for our group. Some of them will not be this way but we'll have the carabiner without the wire eye. We find the spot that best represents where our blade loop would normally be. So on me, that's about pretty close to where it would normally end up being. At this point, I can go ahead and install my, my blade device at the right height. Everything looks good there. No more than three loops away, so one, two, three loops. I'm gonna go ahead and put our tie-in carabiner to us. And that would actually go to my setup. So the, the person is being belayed off the tree, but if something was to happen to the tree, it was kind of come untied, something happened, we are the backup to the tree, okay? Once we've done this, we can go ahead and grab our rope. We're gonna come over here to our Climbing area. We want to make sure we're grabbing the rope closest to us. Madison, would you grab onto the other rope? We always want to make sure we've got somebody holding on to these on both sides so that if we do drop the ropes, they don't go sliding back through. Okay? Once we've got it, this one's facing towards me, which is where we want to be. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna tie a clove hitch on the bottom. I'm going to do three half hitches. You can do as many as you want, but a minimum of three. So half hitch, half hitch, which is in some of our other videos if you guys wanna see it. And then I'm gonna do the bunny ear clove hitch at the top. 
Now this allows it. Now the way a clovitch works is it actually ratchets. So we're gonna wanna grab a rope and ratchet back and forth over and over and over again until we get to pinch to where I can't get that one to slide. Same thing with the one on the bottom. We do not pull both ropes, we pull just one and we ratchet it back and forth. And once we've done that, we come back at an angle if we can and we're gonna try to angle it in as best we can. And Madison's gonna go ahead and pull it towards her. And it pulls right through. Once we pull down, there's usually enough weight on the bottom rope, the side that has all the rope, but the other side will not. So we we'll wanna make sure somebody holds on to that. Once we've done that, we can basically just slide all the knots off. And if you guys watch, there's a video on our fast pack system of how to put away the paracord as we tangle it all up there. Okay, so once we're here, we're gonna come back here. Um, this is basically just tying your standard figure eight sport knot. So it's off to the center of your chest. Wherever it falls on you guys is okay. Go ahead and tie my figure eight. Now we wanna tie a nice small loop here because as we tighten it, it's going to get more and more. So we want our loop to have our good, you know, we don't want the dead end of the rope tied up. We wanna make sure the strong end of the rope is pulling down here on the bottom and our dead end is pulling from the top here. And I tighten both sides. And this is why we want such a small loop because it will get much bigger as we tighten and we tighten and we tighten. This will make it, it sounds weird, but this will actually make it easier to untie. Then I tie our safety knot onto the back here, which is really just a take up knot that allows us to make sure that we have it tightened off. I always wanna have a minimum of fist coming out of any knot I'm doing. This particular knot, a fist is just good with a safety knot on there, we're in really good shape. Now that I've got it here, I'm gonna go ahead, and make sure the wire eye actually goes through all the way and then we can make sure we're gonna put it on. So as I'm getting rid of the rest of the device, I can go ahead and just hook it onto myself. That way we're ready there. Now normally there's a little bucket here that holds all of our equipment. We'll take the belay device. These run just like an ATC. Again, some of the groups are using Grigory's and some of the other devices out there. I want to make sure our hand and anchor goes towards the climber and our hand comes back towards us. I'm right-handed, so when I do it, I have it stuck on this side, so I'm pulling off to my left-hand side. Again, I want it set up to where it's here. Now, once I've got all this done, then I can call the climber over to me. Go ahead and clip her on, make sure she's good there. I'm gonna check her every single time, even somebody I've done more than once. Go ahead and check your head, check your loops, make sure we're double back, double back, make sure we're tight. And then I can have her go back on over to the ladder. Once I do that, I wanna make sure that I am clipped into the system. Now, some of these carabiners actually push and some of them pull. So this particular one's a push, so it's easiest. Stick it to your side, push, and then I clip myself into the system. This does two things. One, it keeps it from falling in the dirt. And two, it allows me as the backup to the person. Then once I'm here, I can go ahead, tighten this up. And remember, we don't do any commands until we've got the person underneath, the closest to the belay, and that that person is ready to go by making sure we've taken all the slack out of the system. Then we want their call. So once I've got it to this point, and I've taken all the slack, remember the easy way to take the slack is pull here, do a jerk, bring it around your back, okay? We'll wait for the person to say, Falling. On belay. <laughs> on belay. On belay, belay is on. Climb. Climb on when I'm ready, and only when I'm ready. That's how you set up the system, guys.